Hey, my name is Zane Brockman. I'm a 2023 graduate. Uh, I go to Kings Mountain High School. Uh, I am committed to play baseball at North Carolina State University, and this is what's in my bag. So to start with, I'm gonna start with my helmet. It's a Rawlings helmet, and um, I was just getting used to the flap here, and uh, it was a big change for that. I didn't really like it at first, but I knew I needed it because I had one buzz me one time up there and uh, kind of got close. So I was like, you know, Dad, I need to get this. So, but once I started using it a lot, I like it, and uh, I like that a lot. So for bat and gloves, I'm a big Marucci fan. I like Marucci a lot. Just, I feel like it's real soft and uh, gives me, you know, a lot of movement in there just to kind of, you know, work with the bat that, you know, that I'm using for that game. And uh, I use a large, just uh, more room. I don't like a bat and glove that's tight. So if it's tight, I just don't use it. But, you know, I have to buy a lot of these. I, I go through probably five gloves a season. So, um, you know, a lot of trips to the store to get those. So. Uh, leg guard, I use a Under Armour leg guard. I like how it looks on Bryce Harper. And he, uh, this is his model that he uses, but I like it a lot. I, I didn't used to use a leg guard that much, but once I started using it, I felt like you know it just has a good look to it, and uh, it's gonna keep it safe for a foul ball. So this is my arm guard, uh, Evo Shield. I like the all white, just uh, kind of pops out. This is my oldest one. My new one's on the way. Gonna get another um, white one, probably with the two straps on it. Um, but I like how this one feels, just for um, you know, I don't really feel it as there, and I don't know if the you know the two straps gonna feel any different, but uh, would definitely probably use this one again. These are my uh, school bat gloves. Don't really use these a lot. Like I said earlier with the Marucci, these are um, kind of smaller, so like. I don't like these a lot, but I like the, the style of them. They look pretty good. So um, I'll just keep these in my bag just for show and all that. So my first baseman's mitt, I like the Rawlings. The uh, only Rawlings glove I'll ever use because uh, I'm a Wilson guy. I've always, um, I like Wilson a lot. But uh, Rawlings, I felt like, has just a bigger pocket for uh, being at first. So you want a bigger pocket there. But, um, you know, just. Just having that gives me a good feeling if I've got to pick a ball or something. So it's a uh, it's a good feeling of the pro design. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna move on to my gloves now. So this is my oldest one. You know, like I said, I love Wilson uh, Wilson A2000. This is my oldest one. Uh, this is Terry. Uh, Terry's been uh, a good buddy of mine for the longest of time, and uh, I just I like it a lot. 11 and a half. So probably about to retire this one and uh, give Terry a break. This is the glove I use right now. It's um, you know another Wilson A2000. Put the super skin on it. I like that a lot. This is Dave. Uh, you know Dave's a, a new friend. I've had him for about a year now. 11 and a half size for a third. You know I feel like I don't need a that small of a glove, but nothing really big to where you know I have a little bit extra time to or you know to get the ball out just so I can feel it, make a good play because it's going to be hit over there a little bit harder. So really like this glove i can use it for pitching and uh, mainly third and uh, second but uh love this glove here this is my pitching glove wilson a2k this is weedy weedy's a weedy's a guy i've only had for about six months now and uh, uh this is probably my favorite uh, i went with a little bit bigger of a glove here just a uh, 12 inch because um I just like a bigger glove when i'm up there pitching because if a ball's hit back at me you know i've got a little bit more time to protect myself but uh, I designed this glove a little bit different to where it's got you know all orange except for the black stripes on it but I like this one again for the size but the color of it just kind of just kind of pops uh, the bats I use so my wood bat I use a Louisville slugger And uh, I went with a 32 inch just because I like I can get it through the zone and uh, it doesn't have as much pop as a um, as a BB core bat, but I feel like I can get this one through the zone and still hit for some power. So if a guy's throwing you know Vila, I can get my hands to it. So mainly use that one for that. So my other wood bat I use is a, uh, a Victus, and it's a uh, it's another 32, but I mainly just use this bats against uh, left-handed pitchers because. 
I feel like since I'm a left-handed hitter, um, I need to work my hands more because the ball looks like it's coming at me. So if I'm trying to drive everything to a uh, left center field, I can use this to kind of keep my hands in. And um, I like this tape right here to where I can you know, have a little bit more barrel control. And um, I like that a lot for my wood bats. So uh, my BB core that I use, I use a Louisville Slugger Omaha, the 20, I think it's the 2019 edition. But, um, you know, I got a pine tar right there. This is a 33 inch and uh, love the one piece. Ever since I started using one piece, it just kind of changed everything. So um, I think I'm gonna stay with this bat for a while. I originally was using a uh, DeMarini CF Zen and uh, 32 inch, but as I got a little bit taller, I knew I needed something a little bit, um, a little bit bigger. And uh, when I transferred over to the one piece, I just, start hitting balls a lot better and uh, I'm gonna stick with it for now. So this is what's in my bag. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching and uh, make sure y'all leave a like. What's up guys, I'm Hype and I had to jump in this video real quick to tell you about a giveaway I'm doing on my Instagram page. I'm giving away a pair of cleats to one subscriber to the channel. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel you're on right now. Follow me on Instagram, comment two people under that post, and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. Once this channel gets to 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a pair of cleats, so good luck.